Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Raggedy Pack. Episode 3, Season 5 of Game of Thrones. I don't remember what happened in the last episode. It's been like a week since we watched. Uh, mm -hmm. The House of Black mm -hmm. and White was the last one. Yes. So I think it ended with Arya getting into uh, the House of Black and White. Wasn't that in yes, there somewhere? Yes, a familiar face. And or, uh, what did you call him? Igly, no at name. the end of the show? No, one. no name? Um, yeah, that happened. Uh, Daenerys cut off the head of a, a freed slave, which turned the free people on her. So now she's got the masters and the former slaves. Mm -hmm. Big mad. And then mm -hmm. Drogon showed up and said, no, mom, I don't want to come home right now. And then left yeah, again. Yeah, angsty. Where are my bros at, by the way? Yeah. For real. <laughs> don't tell he me. He was like, mom, can my brothers come out and play? No, okay, I'm not coming home. Uh, John was elected the 42nd, mm -hmm. 40, 43rd commander of the Night's Watch. I don't know a number, like but that. he is now the new commander. Big ups. Big ups. Um, mm -hmm. And elsewhere, some minor things. Uncle Kevin was getting sassy back with Cersei, which we like. Big dubs. Um, the now widow of our beloved Prince Oberyn was standing up to her brother mm -hmm. and demanding action Jamie pulled up to Braun and he's like yo let's go for I an adventure mm, they're gonna bond man they're gonna bond they're gonna be bros gonna by the end of this. <laughs> that's how you become bros I guess you gotta butt heads so Igly any theories since our last session yeah I had a shower thought okay mm -hmm. well if you enjoy these reactions no I'm kidding <laughs> uh so like it kind of hit me but like there's been the way cersei is being framed this season i feel like she's either going to be she's going to die by the end of the season or she's going to become like a pretty large antagonist uh antagonist is a bit of an interesting word because it's all about perspective on like wh who is she the antagonist for but the general like thing i'm trying to like imp say is Jamie is no longer in the capital. Uh, in terms of Lannister, like figureheads for the family now, you have we we saw, we got introduced to Uncle Kevin. Maybe he's been in previous scenes, but this, I think this is the first time he's been named. But he he's this is the first time he's been on King's Landing, and we see Cersei kind of. I don't want to say necessarily overstepping her bounds, but she's kind of she's it seems like she's, she's vying for more power. Bounds. She's overstepping her bounds. While Toman is still young, she's still playing that card. And the way that we got the three questions, she knows someone younger is coming for her spot, Marjorie. And we have that unanswered third question. Maybe it can be applied. What the question can be like, it could be something as simple as uh, who the dad of the children are or how will I die? I don't know. But it's, ca it's causing her to act uh, much more aggressively. Granted, she was pretty aggressive from the start, but Tywin was like the... It feels like Tywin was like the only one kind of keeping her in a relative check, but now she's unbound, especially so since Jamie is going off to try and save their daughter. Part of me uh, thought of like... Gave thought to the notion, would she lie about her daughter? But I don't think she... I feel like that's the one thing she wouldn't do and we've seen proof we've seen some evidence on the opposite side of that with the widow the widowed wife of king or prince Oberyn. but that's He's our it. king mm -hmm. so that's where my head's kind of been at uh it, it took me a, a i feel like it took me longer than it should have to like kind of connect those pieces but there is a lot of focus more than ever on cersei mm. and that's dangerous mm. If you enjoy these reactions, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when these go live every Sunday. Definitely check that out, that noty bell, it's your best friend. We also have early access up to four weeks if you don't want to wait, though, on our Patreon right now, as well as the full links to everything on the channel, including these Game of Thrones reactions. There's also a link to join our free Discord with the link to join our Patreon in the description below and links to check out all of our socials. With that being said, let's get into it. Let's go. Let's do it. What is this place? Well, Sparta? 
Oh, the house of black and white. Is that magic water? Yeah. Voila. More gorgeous. Voila, do I have Why is he walking so stiffly? Okay, prayer. Can we take a drink too? I've been sweeping this floor for days. You said you'd teach me how to be a faceless man. Oh, a man teaches a girl. A girl wants to serve herself. Here we serve the many-faced God to serve well. Co? A girl must become no one. Which one's the many-faced God? I see the stranger. I see the drowned God. Oh. I see the wayward face. There is only one God. A girl knows his name. And all men know his gift. Become no one. She can't have that personal resentment or attachment. Okay. Oh. Okay, don't drink the water. All men know his gift. Where are they taking him? Everyone's walking like NPCs, man. <laughs> Queen, okay. This could be the first wedding we have with someone without someone dying. She's throwing up in her mouth. Oh my god, please no. It all happened so fast. <laughs> yes. What's the age difference? I'm scared, maybe I hurt you. It sounded No, no. Uh he's like 15? 14, 15, and she's like 18, 19. Are you hungry? Should I have them bring you some cake or do some right snacks now, afterwards? <laughs> I just want you all to myself. I'm the king. I've married the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> it's all because my brother died. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strange. I understand. You mustn't feel guilty. I don't feel guilty. Okay. That's what's hot. Does your mother like it here? Here we go. I don't think so. A lioness guarding her cub. Well, I'm a man now. Sure. You are. I don't see one chest here. <laughs> and the king. The hairless lion. But you'll always be her baby boy. She'll never let you out of her sight. Gaslighting begins. Not. Okay. The first days of marriage are often so blissful. Do you ever miss Castle Rock? Oh There's my god. <laughs> me in Castle Rock. But that's where you grew up. You should go back. I always thought that you missed it. Man is putting his mom in a home. That it was your real home. This is my real home now. I said, darling, surely four times is enough. <laughs> Are you trying to set a new record? And he said, well, what is the record? I'm sure we can break it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. Mother, I wish we had some wine for you. It's a bit early in the day for us. No. Okay. I, I <laughs> That's that this, bro. Exhausted, to be honest. <laughs> okay. TMI. I expect he is half lion, half stag. Full lion, actually. <laughs> What's the proper way to address you now? Queen Mother or Dowager Queen? There's no need for such formalities. In any event, judging from the king's enthusiasm, the Queen Mother will be a Queen Grandmother soon. Holy shit. Day. Remember. Anything you need. So much venom in the words, man. Oh no. Rebuilding Winterfell. But who's moving back here? Remember this place? Your home? Holy shit. Alright. Some decor. Makes you want to live here. Probably bringing back some memories for him. I sent you there to collect taxes, not bodies. Lord Cowan refused to pay. Said the Warden of the North would always be a Stark, and he'd be damned if he'd kiss a traitor's boot. So true. I flayed him living, along with his wife and brother. Made his son watch. And? The new Lord Cowan paid his taxes. 
Okay. We don't have enough men to hold the north if the other houses rise up against us. Do you understand that? Our pact with the Lannisters protects us. I had a pact with Tywin Lannister. Oh, true. Tywin Lannister is dead. The best way to forge a lasting alliance isn't by peeling a man's skin off. The best way is marriage. Now that you're a Bolton by royal decree, it's high time you married a suitable bride. And as it happens, I found the perfect girl to solidify our hold on the north. Ooh. Oh my god. No, dude. This is the long con? Bigly's in shambles right now. <laughs> Welcome home. That's my Kaelin. Oh. Yes. Bit shabby, isn't it? Where are you taking me? Home. Jesus, dude. The Boltons have Winterfell. Bruce Bolton murdered my brother. He betrayed my family. He did. He serves the Lannisters. I won't go. Winterfell is your home. The first you reason should be always. enough. You're not marrying Bruce Bolton. No, you'll be marrying his son and heir, Ramsay. That's One even worse. The of the North and no. you'll, you've been a bystander to tragedy from the day they executed your father. Stop being a bystander. Do you hear me? Stop running. There's no justice in the world. Not unless we make it. Mm -hmm. You loved your family. Avenge them. Disgusting. Can't believe you liked him more than you liked Varys. Who said that? You? No, I never said that. Receipts. Littlefinger has been on my shit list since like day one, bro. I can't believe he's gaslighting Sansa into marrying the son of the man who plotted to kill her brother. She'd be better off <laughs> marrying Roose. I'm getting a bit old to be a squire. So who's gonna knight him? Out here. How did you end up squiring for the imp? He hates that nickname. Well, he's not here to complain about it, is he? True. Show him some respect. It don't matter if he's not here. Lord Tyrion was always very good to me. Yes, all your lords have been very kind to you. All except me. Sorry I had to squire for such a nasty person. You didn't say that. I'm not sorry. You're the best fighter I've ever seen. You beat the hound. I'm proud to be your squire. Give us a smile. You want to be a night pod? Yes. Starting tomorrow, we'll train with the sword twice a day. Yo, let's go. We ride in the morning and after we make camp in the evening. Let's go. Starting a fire? You did that quick. Pod is the best. Yeah. You weren't a knight, but you were a king's guard to Renly Baratheon, weren't you? Short time. I was. Lord Tyrion said he was a good man. Mm, okay. He was. When I was a girl, my father held a ball. I'm his only living child, so he wanted to make a good match for me. None of the boys noticed how mulish and tall I was. They shoved each other and threatened to duel when they thought it was their turn to dance. My father smiled at me and I smiled at him. I'd never been so happy. What happened? Till I saw a few of the boys sniggering. Okay. They are faking it. Brienne the Beauty, they called me. Great joke. And I realized I was the ugliest girl alive. No. A great lumbering beast. I tried to run away, but Renly Baratheon took me in his arms. Don't let them see your tears, he told me. They're nasty little shits. And nasty little shits aren't worth crying over. He danced with me and none of the other boys could say a word. But it wasn't he... Lord Tyrion said he was... Yes, Pod, he liked men. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> he didn't love me, he didn't want me. He danced with me because he was kind and didn't want to see me hurt. I mean, honestly, that's better, I guess. He saved me from being a joke. From that day until his last day. And that's why she wanted to serve him? Okay. Yeah. And I couldn't save him in return. Nothing's more hateful than failing to protect the one you love. One day I will avenge King Renly. But you said a shadow murdered him. How do you fight a shadow? A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. Mm -hmm. Stannis is a man, not a shadow. 
A man can be killed. I'd like to speak alone. Ollie is my steward now, as I was Lord Commander Moments. I want him to attend my meetings to learn from men with experience. That's going to be a constant reminder, huh? One day, he might come on. All my life, I wanted to be John Stark. Say the word and you will be. He's commander now. But I have to refuse you. I pledged my life to the Night's Watch. You're as stubborn as your father. And as honorable. I can imagine no higher praise. I didn't mean it as praise. Okay. Honor that your father killed. All right, bro. May I ask your grace how long you plan to stay at Castle Black? Are you bored of us already? The Night's Watch can't continue to feed your men and the wildling prisoners indefinitely. Mm. Winter is coming. We march on Winterfell within the fortnight before the snows trap us here. Alright, see you later. And the wildlings, I leave their fate to you. Okay. You could execute them, that's the safest course. Or allies. Or you could see if this torment fellow's more willing to compromise than Manso was. You have many enemies in Castle Black. Have you considered sending Alice a thorn elsewhere? I heard it was best to keep your enemies close. Whoever said that didn't have many enemies. <laughs> okay. I love Stannis, dude. He keeps it real. He's too smart for his own good. I'm sorry I disappointed him. You didn't disappoint anybody. The shield that guards the realms of men. That's what you swore to be. Now, I'm not a learned man, but the best way to help the most people might not be sitting in a frozen castle at the edge of the world. You don't know what's coming. Just might mean waiting in the muck, getting your boots dirty. As long as the Boltons rule the North, the North will suffer. Just one man's opinion. More NPCs. What do you want? Who are you? Why are you walking back and forth like that? What? Who are you? No one. No one. Okay. Oh, cunt! Lie. <laughs> lie. That's the Who hound. I told you I'm not. Do that again. Who are you? You are about to find out. What are you doing? That girl is not ready. Clearly not. I am ready. For what? For whatever you want. To be a faceless man. To be no one. I don't think she knows what that entails. Whose sword is that? It belongs to Arya Stark. Arya Stark's sword, Arya Stark's clothes, Arya Stark's stolen silver. Too much of an identity. Wonders, how is it that no one came to be surrounded by Arya Stark's things? Hmm. We're tossing them in the ocean. Not needle, too. You can explain that away. No, not many people know the name of the sword. Not the money. We don't need that for nobody. No, dude. I don't know if she can do it. She has too much pain to like go of it like this. Then no one needs to know. It's just a sword. Oh, we're hiding it. Surely there's no one watching her do this. Why are you out in the plot armor like that, bruh? Just, I'm just saying. I'm just like 20 feet away from the house of black and white. Yeah, how many dead bodies we got? We offer in faces and identities? To the one true god? Oh, is she gonna peek? Doors open. That, that mean that's damn we, we prepping for surgery or something what do we do with them after we wash them Open gate! okay we'll come back to the body later <laughs> we gonna see theon come out being in a familiar place, seeing familiar faces. Lady Sansa, welcome. The audacity. Mm-hmm. Disgusting. Lord Bolton. May I introduce my son? 
Ramsey Bolton. Oh, looks like such a nice Even guy. More. Yeah. To meet you. Don't kid, don't do that. Okay. Onlookers? Welcome home, Lady Stark. The North remembers. Some people loyal to the Starks. First Council? As you all know too well, it's long past time to dig a new latrine pit. <laughs> First Builder Yarwick and I have decided to appoint a latrine captain to oversee this crucial task. <laughs> Brian. Seems like a good job for a ginger. <laughs> okay. Sir Alistair. I name you First Ranger. Okay. Blazer. I'm giving you Commander Greyguard. Greyguard is a ruin. First Builder Yarwick can spare ten I was charged with the defense of King's Landing when you were soiling your swaddling clothes. Okay. Keep your ruin. Okay. You mistake me, my lord. That was a command, not an offer. Mm -hmm. Pack your arms and armor, say your farewells, and ride for Greyguard. I will not have it! Did you hear me, boy? I will not have it! Are you refusing to obey my order? Oh, shit. You can stick your order up your bastard ass. Mm hmm. Take Lord Janice outside. Oh, no. Someone's about to get a spanking. Bring me my sword. <laughs> Something's going up someone's ass. All right. <laughs> now look. <laughs> oh, you have no friends here, buddy. Uh huh. Oh. This, this is setting the tone. Huh. <laughs> Stannis getting a chub. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be full mast if you let him on fire too. <laughs> if you have any last words, my lord, now's the time. I was wrong. You're the Lord Command. We all serve you. I'm sorry. Not only for this, for all I've done and said. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. My lord, please, mercy, mercy. I'll go. I will. Okay. Please, I'm afraid. I've always been afraid. Ah, oh, damn. Oh! Nice. Mm. Don't have to see his neck oh my anymore. God. I Love didn't it. think he was going to go through with it. <laughs> Full brick. Yeah, it's just being blocked by the fence. Mm-hmm. Oh god. It, it's it's not wrong to be afraid, but like you're too much of a weasel. What what is this? <laughs> we got a carousel? Mutton chops? What is that beard? You have served us well, my son. Which of the seven will you worship today? The maiden. Always the maiden. Is that a fake beard? And the stranger. Is that Mei Mei? Extra, you realize. <laughs> yes. Alright. Alright. <laughs> what is this? This establishment belongs to Lord Peter Baelish. You, can't... <laughs> you have profaned our faith. You are a sinner. And you shall be punished. Let's go, Lancel. Oh, no. <laughs> We're whipping his cock? Sinner. Sinner. Dude, the sparrows. Can kill us. Lucky to be alive. I heard this assault began in Littlefinger's brothel. Mm. Even prostitutes may earn the mercy of the mother. Mm -hmm. So you mm. were ministering to the needs of these devout prostitutes. A man's it wasn't their needs. Ought to stay private. Okay, wait. <laughs> of course, my cell would be on his side. Justice. The young man said I'd find the High Sparrow back here. Where is he? High Sparrow. The notion that we're all equal in the eyes of the Seven doesn't sit well with some. So they belittle me. Hmm. 
Send me blessings to you. He's a high sparrow. Why no shoes? Because I gave them away to someone who needed them more. <coughs> we all do that. The gods sent you here to tempt me. Okay. I hope not. An unacceptable way to treat the chosen representative of the gods in this world, wouldn't you say? Well, he was sinner. Hypocrisy is a boil. Lancing a boil is never pleasant. Lancing. The faith and the crown are the two pillars that hold up this world. One collapses, so does the other. She's making allies. We must do everything necessary to protect one another. Ugh. Hmm. Send a raven with this message to Littlefinger at the Eyrie or wherever he's slithering about. <laughs> yeah, that right. How's your work coming along? Very well. You've made progress? More than I expected. Yeah, how's uh, the mountain so doing? Very good. Is he just gonna sit up? Undertaker style? I see that shit moving. Oh. Okay, that's not a surprise to you. Easy, friend. Familiar face. He's looking away in shame. It's not a familiar face. She doesn't know Reek. Really but he knows her. I hope I can make her happy. She suffered enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll never hurt her. Okay. You have my word. Oh well, he has his word. Ram Ramsey said, "Suffered enough." Not very little Bet. about you. Hold my beer. Which makes you quite a rare thing. Mm -hmm. Lords go. Allow me a moment alone with Lord Baelish. Yeah, he doesn't want yes, Baelish right. with his son to alone. Thank you, Lord Baelish. I'm forever in your debt. Hey, what, what's this deal they're working out? A message for you from Cersei Lannister. A rider arrived from the Eyrie shortly before dawn. Mm. The last time the Lords of the Eyrie formed an alliance with the Lords of the North. They brought down the greatest dynasty this world has ever known. I'd like to borrow one of your birds. Cersei will expect a reply. I'd like to read the reply. <laughs> <laughs> what an alliance between shit stains, man. Yeah. The worst people. All we need is Walder Frey. I mean, I guess we technically do have Walder Frey in the mix. It's in the free. Yeah. No, I think uh, we have Walda Frey. Bruce's Her wife. <laughs> what am I? One more drunk dwarf. Yeah, we, we saw you in the, the Bow of the Five Kings. Houses built onto a bridge? It's a busy place. It's a hand. Slaves. Yes. Hmm. The volunteer masters are very organized. Flies for dung shovelers. Oh. Hammers for builders. Tears for whores. Lest they forget. Dude, that's terrible. Yes. Oh my god. The night is dark and full of terrors. These people believe anything. The only red priest we had in King's Landing was Thoros of Mir. This one's much better looking. <laughs> Oh. We're going to meet the savior. It's like they're intermi like intermingling the legends. Oh, Tyrion's a savior. What's that look? Let's find a brothel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's even better luck to suck a dwarf's cock. <laughs> Bro, here's his face. We blend right in. Just two more travelers. Who, who's the lucky lady? <laughs> oh my god. Curious hair. The mother of dragons. <laughs> oh my god. It appears you're not the only Targaryen supporter. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> they got roleplay here. Someone who inspires. Oh, and <laughs> I was waiting, bro. Bro, what are you doing here? Tricking away your sorrows. She's taken. Until quite recently, I was one of the richest men in the world. That's that doesn't matter anymore. Then, if you're, it was recently. It's wealth when you can make a woman laugh. <laughs> Riz. 
You like her? They all like her. They all want to f a queen. Is that why Jor is here? You're just saying that. You know how to spot a liar. It's a little bit depressing. All right then. I'm warning you. We're gonna have to wash you first. Come on. Uh, I'm. I'm sorry. I can't. Hmm. Of course you can. Have another drink. Gladly, but this I can't do. Believe me, no one is more shocked than I am. Can't get it up. I hope it passes. <laughs> what will I do in my spare time? Okay. Go for a piss. Let's start. Where'd you go? lost sight of him. You got distracted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it, bro? No need to worry. I was just. Oh. Of course. Oh, someone else. Oh. You made some kind of mistake. Why don't you tell me what you think you're doing in there? Huh? I'm taking you to the queen. He sees this I as I was a already going. <laughs> that complicates things. He's de he's desperate to get back on Danny's good side. So he noticed Tyrion and said, "Hey, look, I got this Lannister who's sneaking over here to kill you." Mm -hmm. Please welcome me back, Misa. When your package changes Misa. carriers. Yeah, dude. Varys is gonna be pissed. <laughs> Should have kept him in the goddamn. He, he tried to tell him. Cart. So many times. Listen, what? What are the odds? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> there are no coincidences. Of I course, mean, something was gonna of light go is wrong. Involved. Yeah. Why was she? Why was she eyeing him? And it was interesting how they would talk about the Lord of Light and then it quickly shifted to the Mother of Dragons. It's like they're viewing the one and the two as the same. I think that's fair because I think that's sort of like intermediate, intermingling of cultures and legends makes sense. I think that's realistic because they're like, there's overlaps, I guess you could say. Uh, especially with the theming of fire. So it makes sense in a way for people to like bring the two stories t together and connect them. What, what if it was just true? What if it was all just what part it, of the Lord of Light's plan? Then that would mean Stannis is the fake champion. Which is a theory I will support. Uh, enough Stannis hate this episode, um, because I know Blake is festering. You just hate uh, to hate, dude. You don't hate with any rational thought. You just hate to hate. Listen, I'm I'm like I'm like Tyrion. Are you? Yes, the skeptical Can mind. You get it up. <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. Um. <laughs> There's a root cause for my distrust of Stannis, and it all is derived from the underhanded methods of the Lord of Light and the Red Woman. That's all it stems from. Take them away, you got a supporter out of me. But I will digress and give Stannis uh, the position that he has a point with his proposal to uh, John this episode. Because Defending the realm of men, you know, like you guard the wall for this impending doom. Eventually, it's it will come. But if the realm of men were to fall, then you're putting before then you're putting the car before the horse. You know, yeah. It's like where is John best suited? It's like like th like you could, from the perspective of a king. It's like managing resources. For, for Stannis' vision, for his rule, he needs the North under control. He needs a person he can trust. So, pursuing... Even, like, you're, I'm not saying you're not on the right track. Mm -hmm. He needs the North, period. Yes. Yes. That's, like, the most... Because... I, I, I can't remember at what point the number has been said, but it's like there's 20,000 Northerners in Rob Stark's army. Mm -hmm. He so desperately needs that. 
Yes. So you're on the right track, but I just wanted to like give you that extra extra sprinkle on top of your cake there, Chum, because I, I understand, but it's about long term what comes after. You have right. to build these alliances. And the Stark is a name that has held through that people still support and can rally much more. We, we've seen this episode. There are supporters for the Starks even within Winterfell when the Boltons have taken over. So he, he wants that for his grand, for his path to the throne. That's, I completely agree with Stannis there. The, the argument is that Jon Snow, because of his name, because of his heritage, and not heritage, but uh, lineage, he is best suited for the North. And someone else can do his job as commander of the Watch. Can they do a better job? I don't know. Maybe not. But is it good enough to keep things going? Maybe. That's what he's gambling on. Uh, so that I can't help but agree with. Because there needs to be a Stark eventually in Winterfell. That The day will come. I don't necessarily want it to be Sansa given uh, not, not that I have any hate for Sansa but in this marriage this unification between the Stark the Starks um, the Aarons I guess technically uh, I guess not really I don't know N not yes no are you saying like Probably the not. Starks and Boltons with this marriage the Starks and Boltons and also like the Airy with Peter yeah at the, at, like, that alliance yeah. So I, I, I hate, I detest that. That is actually like repulsive. Like that is repulsive. I, I like, I gain there. That is, that generates so much negative emotion out of me because the <laughs> thought of that is like reprehensible. And it just further puts Sansa in like just this, this disgusting place. And the fact that. Peter is kind of gaslighting her into this is you being aggressive, taking control for once when she's again just being used nothing as a puppet for another someone else's vision is terrible. Does, is there some truth of it? I guess so, but that's what makes it worse. He's intermingling fact with his scheme to give greater weight to it. Master manipulator. So, it, yeah. Disgusting. But that, it, it, at the same time, I think only John could unite the Night's Watch with the Free People for the sake of the uh, the North and defending the Wall. I think there is no one else that can do it because he's the only one who's seen both sides and can garner some respect. He he's the key to the Free People. I think he's going to do it. There's there might be some resistance, but I believe that I, he can be the. I've always believed he would be the one to do it. But the notion of him being taking taking control of Winterfell as a Stark is also like incredibly enticing. So it's 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 tough. And I just gotta say, I did not expect him to execute him. Uh, I genuinely, I don't know that man's name. Sir Bolus is Jan that it? Janos Lynn. Janus. Janos. Janus. Who's oh J Jan J Janos Janus Janus. Janus. Janice. The, what, 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 okay, I don't know why I had Bolus in my notes. Is that his last I, name? Bolus? Bolus? I don't, I don't know who the hell Bolus is. Uh, yeah, I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. But uh, I just want to say, mm -hmm. I, I was thinking about this while it was happening. I do not know if John knows that Janice betrayed Ned. And I was I was sitting there during that moment and I'm like, huh, because you see like the anger on John's face when he goes in for the kill. Like he doesn't show mercy. Mm -hmm. And so I was wondering. Um, and I'll look this up on my own, like if John knows. Janice is partially. Jan I mean, Janice rubbed it in his face the entire time he was there. Mm. I guess so. I mean, the dude was not a good person. He was talking way too much shit, looking down on people, gassing himself up, saying he was King's guard. So maybe 
that conclusion could be naturally generated. Okay, if you're a Kingsguard, that was like your Kingsguard during the time my father died. You could maybe just naturally, or he was the head head of the Night's Watch, or um, who are we talking about? City Watch. City Watch. Okay. City Watch. Still, yeah, it, it, he did. I don't. It'd be. I, I don't think there's been evidence of a confirmation, but that would be interesting to know because that adds another layer to, layer to it. Uh, otherwise, what is the reasoning for the the anger? Just the like. I mean, Janice was be, never nice to him. True. But I just feel like I would be very interested to know if that was ever confirmed. Mm-hmm. Amongst all the executions, I don't see him doing that as a pitfall for John. And I, I mean, I hope it's not. But it, there, in terms of reasoning, is that him setting the tone for anyone Mm-hmm. Who an example of him disobeys I, with him. I think so because he really tried him, and you you see even Sir Alistair giving him that look, like, "Yeah, what are you gonna do now?" And mm-hmm. uh, even though he's begging for mercy, you see some hesitation on John's mm-hmm. face, but then he's just like, "No, I'm I'm gonna really set the tone here, show people what I'm about, and also you're just a coward. You're not helping anybody." Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at the same time, does that leading by fear is that it's not something I can directly agree with it because that that it's is a little bit uneasy. But well, I mean, when you when you give a command, and mm-hmm. he he was you even nice your, with it. He he like he doubled down like that. That was the command, and he denied it again. You just can't mm-hmm. like be a pushover, mm-hmm. and if you like set out to execute someone. You can't go to swing the sword and then it's like, oh, psych, we're still buds. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. All things considered, it had it had to be done, but it, it is just so, a sort of uneasiness given what we've seen for anyone else we've like who set the tone by executing someone. It's never mm-hmm. let down a good road. That's a good point. So there's that, like, there's that uneasiness in the back of my mind. Also, we kind of need people. Do we need him? Probably no. not. I, I think no. he. I think he hurts you more than he helps. Honestly, yeah. he's just good at. I glazing. mean, at least Sam the Slayer is like <laughs> intelligent. Janice mm-hmm. is this de- just there to meet ride Alistair and stir the pot. Like he, he has mm-hmm. no real value to <laughs> the Night's yeah. Watch. He yeah he doesn't really further it. He's just kind of forming this little clique. Like and feign, like feigning this sense of superiority against everyone. Yeah, It'd be a, but like he's not, he's not, he's taking the vow, but he's not honoring that. Like he's not putting that vow to example. He's he, but he's bringing past life into into the conversation when we drop that shit in Night's Watch. For the most part, uh, but just interesting to see that John did that. Uh, could have had could have had a castle to himself. I don't know, man. That's a pretty good offer. Uh, but that was a really cool scene. Even got the little nod from Stannis. I do like Stannis this episode. I think he had a point. So you can take that dot Blake, and run with it. About damn time. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna comment on Tom and Marjorie's wedding and that little first night they spent to each other with each other it is what it is some ex- extreme gaslighting cersei and marjorie are are scheming as always uh the bit with the high sparrow is interesting because like, it's like the first time we've seen i feel like it's the first time we've seen Cis- cersei interact for less of a better term the commoner the common people the common born we've never really seen her do that and what does she hope to gain from this alliance eyes and ears i don't know spread rumors amongst the common people to because she saw how they were like gassing up marjorie as they're being carted through the streets on the wedding day that's that could work maybe but it it kind of i don't know what the goal for the spreading rumors isn't something 
that I from what we see on the high from from the high sparrow, he's like this noble dude, literally giving the shoes off his feet, the shirt off his back. If someone else needs it more than him, so it's going to be interesting to see how that little alliance plays out. Um, interesting scene with the high septon. I don't know who the dude with the fake beard was. So I guess, that was in Littlefinger's brothel, so it was, like, they were all dressed up, the girls were different gods, and then, he, uh-huh. I, I don't know what his get A little, was a little bit of roleplay. Yeah. A PP, I think his, the guy his, with the beard was supposed to be the High Septon. Okay. okay. Like, the, with okay. the fake beard, because it, it's, okay. it's, uh, it's, uh, Loris's partner. Yeah, okay, that dude, okay. Uh, um. But he has that beard on, and so mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure his his role was supposed to be mutton chops. Mm. So it's kind of goofy. Yeah, it was definitely goofy, for uh, lack of a better way to describe it. Yeah, uh, speed running the some of the smaller points this episode. I like the development between Brienne and Podrick. Uh, there's one point like where Brienne was talked about seeing saying she offers her loyalty way too easily to people. And I think what we learned about her like about her like helped kind of discredit those that statement. Like R- Renly was not just no was wasn't nobody to her. She was someone it was someone that showed her a great kindness and she oh, continued to remember that to the point where she wanted to serve him. Even though I don't really like Remley as a person, or I didn't really care for him back when he was alive, I should say, uh, it, that addition helps kind of, I, I think it was good for Brienne's character. And also her and Podrick bonding, really cool to see. My boy's going to get training. I wish I was him. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Arya Stark must become no one. That's going to be hard to do, given we what we've seen through her journey so far. How much anger, turmoil she has built up within her her kill list. She has to drop all of that to become no one. You can't be no one and have basically like and have those feelings. Is the impression I'm getting. To the point where she had to cast aside her belongings and become like un- unidentifiable, essentially. I don't know what they're doing with the dead bodies. That shit's weird. <laughs> then again, there has to be some explanation for how they can do the the face sh- or the the shape shifting magic. Maybe those bodies are sacrifices to the one true god, and that's like a new form they can take. That's like the only thing that makes sense in my mind. Uh, I don't know what little ritual they're doing with washing the body, and we didn't get an answer. But uh, that's it, it, it. It's going to be interesting because we're finally here. We're finally in Bravo, somewhere that's going to develop her further. But it seems to go against the path she's we've kind of seen through her. So as how those two ideas conflict and what comes out of it. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see out of Arya, but she didn't. She didn't drop everything. She still hid needle in the rock underneath the rock. So, despite everything she does, she's still going to have that physical reminder of who she is, which I'm glad. Uh, and that's pretty much all the points. It was a really fun episode. Uh, disgusting in some regards, but yeah. we're interested. We're we're introducing some cool ideas. Hopefully, hopefully Tyrion doesn't doesn't this. I need this misunderstanding to get cleared up. Uh, Jorah might be do, doing something drastic. I mean, he was at a goddamn brothel with someone role playing as Daenerys. Come on now, it was absurd. <sighs> People want uh, Misa. They want Misa, man. So, anyway. Corey, what was yes, your sir? favorite part? Um, do you have yours? Janice getting executed. Of course. 
I, I, I like I geeked out when I realized like that was this episode. Yeah. Because like I remembered as soon as they panned in. But other than that, probably Stannis talking to John. Um, quick skim through that. That's really it. Yeah, I'd say that's really it. Like those are my two favorites. So like, my f- undisputed favorite part by default would probably be Janice getting executed because like John making that decision and going through with it. But my favorite part of this uh, reaction with Igly was like Sansa and Littlefinger rolling up to the Boltons and like his realization of what was happening. <laughs> he said, who is? It? Oh, <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Oh, dude. Terrible. All right. We good? We good. We good. All right. Before we head out, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you enjoyed. Like we said, that noti bell is your best friend, so you don't miss these uploads every Sunday. But if you don't want to wait four weeks early access on the Patreon right now, check that link in the description. There's also a link to join our free Discord and links to our social media. So check all those out. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. See ya.